Oh my god, we're back. Wait, you ready? Am I ready? We are back in the studio. Woo! Recording episode 72, 72 which is crazy. Season four. So buckle on in. Let's Monday, go. You'll hear from us. Okay, that was a story in case they're editing and they're like, what oh, is yeah, going that on? That was a story. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, you're going to. Yeah. <laughs> I went to say g'day, guys. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the Raw Reality Podcast. We missed you. And I know you missed us yeah, too. You guys really did. Yeah. So sorry for the long break, but also not sorry because it was no. needed. Yeah. It was necessary. And we're back. The, lo- the wait is over. It is. And we're back and we're better than ever. We are. I'm are so we? excited. No, we are. Oh, okay. It depends. Like mentally, maybe not. <laughs> no. Nah. No, we're no, slaying. We're, good. we're, we're good. honestly we're good. slaying. So today is the episode you've all been waiting for. The life update. The catch up over the last month. We have many notes. You have quite a few. I'm just um, free balling here. We'll go over some 2024 goals, how we're feeling. Um, and then we have a few little bits and pieces that we're adding to the pod, which I'm really excited yeah. about. Yeah. Basically, you've missed a chapter in our lives. Yeah, it's like you've missed a year. So we <laughs> have been a month. some catching up to do. Shit. Should we just get straight into it? Because the yeah. last time we've recorded was before Christmas. I am a different person. <laughs> I am not the same Lily as I was in December. Yeah. So a that. lot has happened. <laughs> a lot has happened. Okay, so do you want to take it away? Okay, sure. Because everyone's dying to know your <sighs> updates. Did you ask the question? Nope. Okay, so you're just going to go for it. I actually am. Okay, cool. But that's going to come in a few minutes. Yeah. All right. Let's start. Obviously, I've started prep. We all know that. It's just a given at the moment. So Christmas was a little bit different this year. Went to Melbourne, had the best time, just kind of spend it with my family. Um, it was like very chill, very chill Christmas. Really like not much to update you on there because mm. I just went, enjoyed prep. I was going to say enjoyed all the Christmas food. I absolutely did not. Yeah. Stayed on track and it was actually like really easy. Like yeah. I didn't find it hard at all. The only thing that was really hard was basically having to time management everything. Like meal prep, make sure I had everything on hand. I forgot that grocery stores closed. I went to a country town, didn't really have access to a gym, all those types of things. But we got it done. We ticked every mm. single box. Um, and yeah, then and I came had like the news. good support. And I did. Like, yeah. I am so grateful for my sport. Like, all my friends in Melbourne, like, for our friend Miss, everyone was, like, helping me if I had to heat up my meals, if I had to go grocery shopping, go for a walk, whatever it may be. Like, everyone was there asking the question before I would even say something. So, mm. it helps so, so much. How was yeah. your Christmas? Christmas was good. We were in Adelaide for the week. Um, and, yeah, it was super chill. I feel like I wanted to use it to, like, do a bit of, like, creative work. But once I got there, I was like, I'm done. Like, mm. I just completely switched off. Honestly, didn't do much at all, which was like, like it's Christmas. Like, yeah, that's normal. Um, Yeah, I just feel like the week was just so chill. We just spent a lot of time, obviously, with Jackson's family, stayed at his parents' house, ate incredible food, as we always do, Um, filmed a few of his YouTube videos. And yeah, yeah like super relaxing. Actually, I was very similar in terms of like switching off because – if you guys remember, I was starting to burn out to the end of last year. Like I kept coming in week by week being like, I'm stressed, I'm overwhelmed, mm. tired. And I really used those two weeks to pretty much like switch off. Like I didn't do any work and made time sure to take time off work, even like social media. Like I wasn't taking content. I filmed a YouTube video, but didn't edit it or anything. Like I really took a step back and was so needed. Yeah. And Jackson like literally said this quote to me that he was like, you got to take a step back before you take a step you forward. You love that, don't you? I do. And I've said it to every single client because I'm like, yes, you mm. do. Because all we're always like, keep taking steps forward, forward, forward. What's next? What's next? But it's like, okay, yeah. How about just relaxing for a second? That's like when he, we did the conversation cards and we, my, he was like, what do you do best or something? And he mm-hmm. said to me, he's like the way that you can, um, the way that you're willing to slow down to speed up. Yes. And I was like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson doesn't, he's a man of few words. Like not really. He's got a lot of crazy words, but yeah. actually like. Like deep meaningful w- words. Yes. And when he says it. Whew, yeah. He hits the spot. Yeah. Yep. Now we're heading into New Year's. Yeah, we are. We Went down to the sunny coast, or up, if you will, to the sunny yeah. coast um, for a week with our friends, Riley Taylor, all the boys. So much fun. Mm. And it was almost like a weekend away. Think Love Island in a house. Yeah. Our group chat is called was. like Love Island yeah. because that's what it is. Um, yeah. It was so much fun. We went to Wildlands. Yeah. Went to Wildlands New Year's Eve. Um, Lily was obviously sober. Dead sober. I 
didn't really get drunk at all. And then I stopped at like probably eight o'clock. Mm. Um, but yeah, I was just like there for the vibes. I was there for Rufus. Like, let's be real. Yeah. I was so happy to see Rufus. It was like, I got to like 10 p.m. I was, or even earlier, I was like, oh, I could go to bed. Well, I did message being like oh there's like a big storm coming so if anyone wants to leave yeah. early let's go and like I I'm was like didn't yes though. yes yes like I, w- I would have gone if everyone was like let's go but we just like kept waiting and waiting yeah. and waiting and then like it was close enough to reverse we we're like let's just stay and it was so good but like first off we got there at like what six five thirty yeah PM. I wanted to get there at like eight. Oh my lord same because we had to drive so we actually hired a minivan <laughs> we hired a minivan because we had to drive from sunny coast to Brisbane which is like an hour and a half yeah and Lil drove the mini bus. I was like the mom. With all the kids. Yeah. Um, got a great park, got in. and Oh, just, guys, 200 oh. metres away from the venue. Oh, yeah. So good. So good. Um, but yeah, and we, so we were there for, like, it was a long afternoon. A long afternoon. Yeah. yeah. But we were very smart and paid for ex- a little bit extra for VIP tickets. Yes. Um, so that was, like, such a smart move because there was, like, toilets there. You could get drinks a little bit easier. But then we ended up. Literally dead center in the mosh by the end, yeah. which was also which was a good great for idea. Rufus. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rufus was like the moment you think of like in a festival where it's like not doof doof head bang, mm-hmm. you're just like there and like for anyone who has a boyfriend, your boyfriend's arms are around or like a stranger's arms are around <laughs> you, whatever works, and you're just like rocking eyes are yeah. closed and you're just like Rufus is the shit. Okay, <clears throat> we have some controversial opinions here. Yeah, I like Rufus for a festival. Sure, all for it. Like vibes are high. I'm not playing him in my house. Like, I'm playing him in my house. I'm, I'm not. playing him at the studio. I'm playing it in the car, windows down. Oh. But it always is like, uh, <laughs> like, okay, I would love some like, um, I was you, whips. you, where are you from? <laughs> yeah, like, you know exactly. what I mean? Yeah, anyways. Yeah, it's just like a, it gives off like better binaural beats. beats vibe. Okay. Following. Like if it's a Sunday morning and you're cleaning, it's like low key vibe, but like still vibey. Yeah. You know? All right. And it's great when you're like doing like a slow mm. but beaty warm up for Akra. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. It was Each good. And I'm like so happy that I have such a good solid group of friends that y- no one got drunk drunk. Yeah. Like everyone was pretty chill, which also made my experience so much better being dead sober because I wasn't looking after anyone. Like everyone mm. was also making sure that I had fun. But the biggest thing for me, if you go to a festival or if you even go to a party, if you will, and you've decided to be sober, don't make it a big thing. Mm. Be like, yeah, okay, I'm going to embrace it. And it's probably going to be a little bit less boring. Let's be realistic. Sorry, not as fun. Let's be realistic. Yeah. But you need to embrace it like wholeheartedly. Mm. Because if you're like, fuck, this is going to be such a shit night. Like, I'm going to be so well. Everyone else is drunk so long. Okay, yep, you're going to have the worst time. But yeah. you need to go in and just like <laughs> go for it. Pretend you're having the time of your life and you will. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Then. Continue. Um, I don't really have much on New Year's. <laughs> No, moving on from New Year's. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. We get back. We get into routine. And my routine just has not stopped. January has been on repeat, day in, day out. Yeah. Work, training, eat a little bit, and then steps, <laughs> cardio, posing, if you will. Yeah. All of those things. So my life has been on repeat the past month. Um, We and had like- has f- 11 weeks left of repeating. 11 more weeks plus two between nationals, so technically 13. Yeah. But the cows are starting to get quite low. We weren't moving as fast as- we hoped at the very beginning so we kind of started to push things along quite rapidly um last week actually sucked I don't know why what was wrong with me I think it was like PMS symptoms because I was meant to get my period last week then it came a week late so I don't have any PMS symptoms this week but my cycle came Mm. so I think it was just like last week my body was like trying to get my period it just was not having a good time and then as soon as like I hit Thursday last week I was like in the best mood and that mood has not stopped. Like my energy is high and I'm just like feel like I'm rested, but I'm not even getting enough sleep at the moment either, which is Mm. also interesting. So I'm just going to play with it while I can. Yeah. Just take it. Take it while it's there. Yeah, exactly. So thriving. Love that. That area. You just keep going, like go through yours. Okay, cool. I'm just going to like hold my phone and go through it. Um, Essentially, like just touching on my period as well. So interesting. It's crazy how like the body responds so specifically because last prep, I got my 11 weeks out, which exactly I am now. My cycle was 36 days. And this time, 11 weeks out, 36 days. That's crazy. Then I lost it from there. Exactly the same. Like, so interesting. So I thought that's just like wild. When did you get it? What day? Uh, Two days ago. Yeah. And it's still just like really light. Uh, it was heavy this morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But well, that's good though. my checking photos look the best. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. Mm, yeah. Interesting. 
Um, not really much else to say about that. Might like touch on it a bit later. We're just like catching up at the moment. I went to Noah Khan. Mm. Guys, it was so good. Yeah. So freaking good. I had the most incredible time. It was exactly at like where Ziggy was last year. Um, Riverside Stadium in Brisbane. Like started kind of raining a little bit because it was outside, but it was still so much fun. Then the coolest thing was he actually bought someone out that he met the night before. So mm. he went to a pub to eat dinner and some guy was just like sting, singing his song stick season and he went up to him and was like do you want to come on stage and sing with that sing with me tomorrow like I was like yeah imagine that like wild so he went up on stage and sang with him so it's just like right place right time Literally. like it's truly what it is so Noah Khan was incredible I went with Sebastian and he didn't actually know much of his music mm. so blasted it and then every single time I was like do you know his song do you know this song he's like oh kind of I know the chorus but it was good yeah it was really good um okay <laughs> fine I'll tell you guys the undeniable because all I get is messages about it like probably multiple times a day okay <clears throat> Sebastian and I are just friends at the moment and I know you are all expecting a different outcome but it's definitely the best place for it right now Mm. things were moving very fast end of last year and both just come out of serious relationships don't want things to get twisted and turn too much we're basically just decided to be friends for a while close friends we hang out a lot oh yeah a lot <laughs> every day <laughs> maybe twice a day yeah probably sometimes three so if you see us walking together on the boardwalk mind your own business <laughs> okay <laughs> that's all I have to say because I you can't yeah. walk down the mermaid waters like Nobby Beach boardwalk without seeing at least two people you know yeah it's just a given so again mind your own damn business but it's good yeah. that's all I have to say on that and that's all I have to say that's that that's, that's the that. end of that not, not the, the end, end. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean yeah um is that all from you yeah okay me January so January has been like but setting up okay yeah like I felt like I didn't want to dive into this into January like head first and then like go too hard too fast kind of thing and because like I still have January off from the studio like it's still somewhat a holiday to me. Like January just feels like it's summer, like you chill out. And it definitely, as the weeks went on in Jan, like more and more got busier. But I just feel like I like did what I had to do and also chilled out. Yeah. Like if I'm looking through my camera, like there was a lot of beach days. There was a lot of, um, well, obviously like morning walks, but just like slower days. I feel like we actually use January as more of a holiday yeah. as well in a way like a warm up month yeah. kind of thing like warming up to like what this year is going to be cuz i i remember a few years ago like new and we'll talk about this like soon but like new years would hit and you'd be like head down ass up go hard mm-hmm. which like if that works for you totally but i uh, you got 12 months mm-hmm. like and january for me is still like yeah it's summer everyone's still happy like some people are still on holidays so i just and because i have no teaching I have the whole day to get everything done for seven days Mm -hmm. so I just like to take the day slower and do what feels good so on reflection this morning I was like actually feels really nice yeah like I'm like oh I feel like I'm very similar to that yeah and it's been good yeah um yes okay so what would I say probably the last definitely the last few weeks maybe a couple months I feel like I've been very up and down in terms yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I know. Um, in terms of like mental health. And I think it's been, yeah, it's been an up and down journey. And I think probably last week, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was last week. It kind of hit me and I was like, fuck, like I'm actually not okay. And. I had to kind of just sit like there was just a lot going on in my head and basically I was just like getting so down and I would just have these like long like days like multiple days in a row where I'm just like I actually can't do anything I like I feel numb I feel like I don't want anyone around I don't want I don't know like it's so hard to like describe but I just felt so not me. It's almost like you don't want any input or anything from others. Like yeah. it's just like I just had to be up. on my own. Yeah. And like obviously that's so hard too when you ha- like you want to be around your friends, mm. but it's like I actually don't have I don't have the capacity for what I'm dealing with let alone anyone else or yeah. like their drama in like a pos- like a yeah. not a positive way, but like a nicest way possible. Um and I just like had to like step back from like everything and just be like okay, what's actually going on? 
Um, and it got to a stage where like I would just literally cry over nothing and like just cry and cry and cry. And then I would spiral and be like, I actually think I have a mood disorder because I was so up and down. Mm. And I was like, one day I'd be like, literally could make a million dollars. And the next day I'm like, who am I? What am I doing? What's my purpose? Like it would just. I also feel like it would happen in the same day. Yeah. You could start your day super high and then. I would leave, go training, come back, and I'm like, and she's don't gone. talk to It's Tori. like my spirit leaves my yes. body. It's like your whole personality has exited the building. And, like, you can tell because I'm always, like, upbeat, the light of the but room. it's so like, interesting. Like, I can just look at you. You don't have to speak. Mm. Like, I can look at you and I know. And that's what we do. Spend a, like, we live together. Yeah, so, like, if we didn't know it, like, yeah. it'd be <laughs> bad. But, yeah, I think, like, I definitely think, like, anyone could tell because, mm. like, they know who I am. They know my personality. But it's been, like, so tough to navigate because I feel like I've been through this stage before on a lot lot like much more serious level whereas now I have the tools and the mindset to like work through it alone and then also have great support um but it was just like just like what the fuck and I was literally just like every day I'm like well like what is actually wrong with me do I need to go see a psychologist again like is do I actually battling a mood disorder like is that what's going on here and then I was struggling with energy which I still am so I went and got blood tests done which I should get back in a couple of days to check my iron levels because I think I've always been low in iron so I think that's contributing but and I've spoken to a few people and they're like low energy mood changes dizziness when you stand up I'm like tick 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 Mm. so hopefully that's that and we can just kind of fix that through supplement um but yeah it's just been like shit because I'm like there's so much inspiration and motivation to do so much but then there's just like that I feel like you are handling devil. it because you are so self-aware at the moment mm. it's like okay I know I feel shit so I'm just gonna embrace what I feel right now but I'm gonna wake up and do my best to feel better again tomorrow and some days you'd wake up and be like okay I'm good to go mm. then when you feel good you like go hard to make sure that yeah. you tick everything yep. off which allows you the days to actually completely rest when you're not feeling as good yeah 100% and I s- spoke to this on my stories Yesterday, and I think I'm going to do a solo episode on this because I had a lot of questions about it. But yeah, this last couple of weeks where I've noticed such an like fluctuation of mood, I'm like, when I'm good, I have to use that. Mm. Like my gym, and I'll go into that as well, my gym and movement and stuff has been like I've changed that a lot like since the end of last year and that's helped tremendously but yesterday for example I woke up like after an eight hour sleep and I was literally standing on top of the moon and I was like let's go train legs let's do work and then it got to like one o'clock and I crashed and napped for an hour and a half yeah and Jackson also came home sick yeah so we we're both just like let's go to bed yeah um but it's like if I'm good I'm going ham and if I'm not good I'm letting myself be not good. And I feel like everyone should actually take that piece of advice. Yeah. And even specifically. It would change your life. A hundred percent. For me, for example, right now, when I have energy, I need to utilize that energy. Like no matter what. For example, <laughs> yesterday during the day, I started to feel like a little bit like it was my first proper full day of my cycle and it was complete rest day. So I actually allowed myself to kind of rest a little bit more. So we all like kind of chilled out yesterday. Yeah, we did. And then I was going to have an early night because I was feeling really tired. Then at 8 p.m. I was like, huh. I could. I have some energy going on here. So I decided to completely pull apart my whole entire wardrobe and redecorate. Yeah, and I got home from work at like nine and her room is just like (laughs) fucking someone's throwing a bomb in there. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. She was like, why now? And I was like, I don't have a... No, but I do get it. Yeah, Yeah, I do get it when you get that burst and you're like, I need to clean my wardrobe. Yeah. I get that. Um, Yeah, I just think like when you can anchor into that and like... Because if you're waking up and you're feeling absolutely horrible and you're like, no, I actually have to train legs, do a 12-hour work day, obviously if you don't have a choice yeah, it's for different. work and that sort of stuff, it's different. But outside of that job, you can choose to go for a soft walk instead of smashing yourself in yeah. the gym because you're only going to make yourself feel worse and then that's going to probably drag on for a couple of days. Whereas now, if I'm like, oh my God, feeling horrible, let's take a slower day, reschedule some things. And that'll last for a day and then I'm good or even half a day, whatever that is. So that's just been a huge situation in my my life at the moment. Um, And I think like I started my channel with mental health. Like that Mm. was the reason I wanted to start channel my skin, obviously. But I felt as though like I hadn't really spoken about mental health a lot because I've like worked through so much that I haven't really dealt with it. And so it was nice to kind of pull back like – 
not obviously nice because it's shit to deal with, but it's nice to pull back to like where I started. Yeah. And then reflect on how far I've actually come. Yeah. Which is really cool. Um, also, a memory came up today. Four years ago today, I moved to Hobart. And <gasps> three years ago, I moved to Queensland. Three years to Queensland? Yeah. yeah. That's gone this, this, so wait. fast. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So that's just wild. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, just a skin update for you all. Still, actually, no, I haven't even spoken about it because I started it in January. Mm-hmm. Started my new protocol with Emily and I've put up like a whole YouTube video on it on my YouTube this week. So go and watch that. But basically starting on a new 90 day cycle of supplements and each 30 days I change it up. Back on my salary, like there's absolutely no tomorrow. She's back on it. Because <laughs> I was like initially like, you know, every three days. I'm like, no, fuck. Like I need to just go every single day. Every single morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yep, Tori's awake. <laughs> it's so annoying because it's like literally like it's so loud and you just can't do anything about it's it. It's fine. It's like the coffee machine in the morning. Yeah, true. Like, and then when you, you and Jackson bang it on the bin <laughs> to try and get it out. So we both have our things. Yeah, it's fine. And they was probably like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I honestly think like if I can just do celery every day for as long as I can, yeah, it's going to help. Like I know that's what's going to clear my skin. 100%. So I just need to do it. Um, but I feel like I've just hit this moment of like, yeah, like skin's my skin. Yeah. Skin like, is skinning. Skin is skinning. And I'm just, I'm living. Yeah. With, with or without it. And you have to get to that point because yeah. if you continually let it get to you, your quality of life in general, mm. you don't want to look back in your 20s and be like, my skin stopped me from doing so much. Yeah. Because when you're 80, you're going to be like, why the fuck did I care so much? Literally. Yeah. So that is that. Mm. And then just my training, I've like really slowed down. Um, yeah, you have. Which has been honestly amazing. And the way that my body has responded. Wild. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> like honestly, in the in the whole of Jan, each week has been like, two or three if I'm lucky a fourth weight session Mm. of the week with like two or three Pilates and walking every day 10,000 steps it's which is like I would say like twice three times weights actually no you've done really well like last two weeks but the start of Jan yeah it was like so slow so yeah and focusing on Pilates and walking yeah and your body is loving it yeah like my body is less inflamed yes yeah and just like more defined and then in terms of nutrition like not tracking I'm just like eating yeah mindfully like I've cut so much things like gluten and stuff out again for my skin but cut oats out like anything inflammation and stuff like Mm. it's gone um and body is just thriving yeah it loves it so much which is great so we're just waiting for my skin to catch up yeah yeah one step at a time yeah yeah it's already happened and it's just reality yeah exactly I forgot an update yeah it's like a really minor update, but it's kind of funny. So we went to a dance class. So you guys know that we started doing dancing, like oh, started doing, let's take it back a little bit. We went to like two or three dance classes. I need to put my legs and up and hide my dogs. <laughs> don't the look at my dogs. And so much fun. We all know Tori can dance. I can't dance. We get it. We get it. And this dance class was to Tate McRae greedy. Of course we're going. Like, of course. We actually got tickets to Tate McRae at the end of the oh, year. Oh, we did too. Yeah. I forgot about that. I know. I'm so excited. Um, so we go to this dance class, right? And the whole freaking thing is just about moving your hips. I can't do that. But I did my best. For some reason, I also couldn't pick up Corey that night. Like, brain was not well, We braining. hadn't danced in a while. And mm. it literally, if you don't do it repetitively, you forget. Like, cheer, I could pick up Corey in two seconds yeah and then I kind of like when you don't do it for a while you're like wow kind of not working here mm-hmm. um and that's exactly what was happening and then as soon as kind of it's towards the end like I copy Tori the whole entire time because sometimes the dance teacher steps out and like watches I'm like god I don't even know the second step so I just watch Tori but then of course she wants me to video her so then they split you up and we're in separate groups and then I have to do it alone cannot do it but she still records me because I still try my best anyways we get home and I'm showing, actually, I'm going to take it back a step. Then we go and show the next class. Like you normally like, there's two classes on at the same time mm. and you switch and you basically like show each other your performance piece. Tori makes us stay back in the other room while everyone goes into the other room to show her their pizza, pieces so I can record it perfectly and she can nail it. If that doesn't describe who she is. <laughs> and But before that, she was like, oh, do you reckon it's okay if I stay in here? And I was like, oh yeah, fine. And I was like, who's going to record you? And she's like, well, you. So I was like, okay, cool. So I'm actually not going to go dance what I paid to do. I'm actually going to stand in here and record you. But yeah. it's probably for the best. 
Anyways, we get home and we decide to show Jackson Jackson our dancing videos. They're making fun of me. They're slowing it down. They're <laughs> laughing at me because I quite literally look like an idiot. But we're embracing that. Yeah. Anyways, a few days later, I'm with, I'm with Riley and I'm like, oh, mate, like I can't dance. We're talking about it. I was like, I'll show you this video of me. And she was like, oh, I've already seen it. I don't remember when I showed her. Yeah, and she was, I was like, what? She was like, yeah, Tori showed me how much you can't dance. I was like, okay, I didn't say that. I know, I know, but you may as well have. <laughs> like, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, but this is just like your But you've got to start somewhere. You have to suck sometimes. Yes, you do. Yeah, and I just thought it was really funny. So I thought I sucked. Like, you did not suck. I, well, when you freaking work with like... Queensland's best dancers. Yeah, you're like, no. shit, you can't My, move. like, biggest fear is going to that dance class and one of you guys being in it. Oh, <laughs> my God, like, literally. Oh, because, like, it's actually happened. Like, I was like, no, I can't. And someone messaged me saying that they were behind me. So I'm like, fuck, if that's happening there, like, go at a dance class where we're all, like, in a similar environment in terms of, like, passion, I don't See, want you guys yeah. to watch me. Yeah. That's not okay. No. Anyways, I just thought that was a little funny anyway, it's situation. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey. Let's move on. 2024 is on the horizon. It is. Well, She's already a month, month down. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's a wow, wow, wow. How are you feeling for the year? Pretty slayful. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Low-key nervous a little bit. Really? Yeah. There's just a lot like working in the back end right yeah. now for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like I'm ready. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be fucking good yeah. Mm, yeah I agree there's like so many I feel like now settled in Queensland got like my solid group of friends mm. things are moving I'm just like excited for this year as well and also like very apprehensive because I'm like mm. the whole time at New Year's we were sitting there like what the actual fuck can happen in a year if you told us what happened last year because I would have yeah, walked out was together like last New Year's yeah. and we pretty much just do every New Year's together now yeah um and we were just there like, so we were doing this last New Year's with these people and like experiencing that, going through this. We'd experienced all this this year and now we're here. Like, oh, we, what the fuck? And like, you wouldn't have, you would have not picked. You may have picked one of them, but you wouldn't have picked <laughs> all like that. Just yeah. fucking wild. It's so I'm insane. kind of ner- And I think that's almost like given me a very like nervous attitude towards the year. Like, fuck, like a lot can happen in a year, yeah. but also in a positive way because yeah. every change has been I positive. I think like, but yes, it can be nerve wracking, but you have to look at it being like, yes. fuck, like so much good can happen in a yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I can't wait to sit down next New Year's and be like, oh, so what happened? <laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Um, Slay, what's your word for the year? Okay, so... It was intention. Oh, you've changed it. I don't know. It's just not sitting with me as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, I feel like I do like, I'm a different person, right? So okay. like it kind of changes, but it was intention. So mm-hmm. it was like everything I would do, I want to do it with intention and I want to do it with purpose, which 100% is still there. But I'm also just like, I don't have another word, but it's I'm, okay. just, I'm just like, it's just not sitting it's as well. It's just not that word. Nah, okay. it's not. Something similar? Definitely something similar, but I think it's more like action which is very similar to what was last year um don't know i can't remember I forgot last year i don't think i had one last year mm. you did yeah what's your word for this year build yeah i love it i kind of like it, like as soon as i was like what's my word for the year? build like straight yeah. away came and then i kind of tried to like make it better and think of a better word you're trying like, to like you're trying to make it dramatic yeah mm-hmm. but i was like no like that is like, that is exactly launch. yeah <laughs> Yeah, what what was the one we said? Um, balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> no, but build is perfect and I love it and it just feels right because I'm like this year is about building on everything like new business, the podcast, like just so many avenues that I feel like we've set the foundations for. Now it's time to build before mm. next year is probably going to be like. Yes, the year. Yeah, something like that. It's kind of come to me. Yeah, okay. So it's more like I don't have a word. I have like. A phrase so it's yeah. more like me and I can get very caught up in comparison the past few weeks could not give a fuck about anyone else and I don't know it's not necessarily like in a bad way at all and from like a jealousy standpoint at all it's like I'm so over caring what other people think of me trying to be the good person or like trying to more so this is actually coming Thanks from like fuck <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it don't matter. People placing tendencies are probably still going to be there. Just a little bit. But it's more so to do with like social media and the bodybuilding industry. Mm. It is very, oh, it's very opinionated, especially if you're on that side. If you're in it, you know. There are so many things. It's like, you got to post this. You can't post this. You got to post this. Like this social media content strategy isn't doing well. This one is. If you're doing this, you're just doing it for an attention. I'm like, I am so over that. And I started getting caught up in it in the start of the year. So I was like not posting much of my prep because I didn't want to say anything wrong. And, I, mm. and I'm like, for what? People yeah. follow me because they want to know my journey and everything like that. And I am absolutely by far not even close to the best athlete that I can be and you can compare me to so many different people but like I'm on my own journey and doing mm. it for me and and it's like it. you like you, you're posting your journey and there's nothing that you can change like you can you know change what you post and how you post but yep. you're going to do what aligns with you and if other people interpret that differently if they're like yeah. oh she's doing that for intention if if you know in your heart that that's not an attention yep. post yep. and you're just like, this is my journey, yep. then who fucking cares? Exactly. And there's someone the other day posted something like, if you post yourself crying on social media and then happy videos after you're doing it for attention, I was like, <laughs> I just did that. But I sat with me and I was like, I know that that was not for attention at all. That was literally to show how much you can change if you were like actually surround yourself with a good environment. So that was actually coming from a purposeful point of view everyone resonated with it because i'm not showing up my well, story it's real I, yeah I'm i like, fucking cried the other day and then exactly. that's half an hour later i was happy as larry i'm not trying to post but be like oh i'm crying now i'm gonna recall myself like yeah to, uh, yeah anyways that was a whole other thing but i don't know i'm just very like focused on me and even from the way that like everyone does prep so differently people are going to keep some foods in people are going to take some things out like you've just got to stay in your own lane and I'm in my own lane and I like my lane (laughs) so that's that my lane is good yeah I love that yeah so I also want to touch on something because I was listening to a few like new year's podcasts and I don't know who but I think it should be out like an out for the year which we'll go through later Mm -hmm. but new year's resolutions like we don't we don't do them here yep why are you smiling no 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 (laughs) (laughs) okay no, wait, let okay. me just explain. Keep going. So we've gone over our goals and we've done them and we'll speak to it in a second. But I was listening to it and I think I was listening to the kick pod as well and they were saying something about news resolutions. But I was just like, I think it's become such a, like there's such a stigma around news resolutions because I find the people who set them are like, I don't know how to word this. Yeah, just go for it. Okay. <laughs> Leash. Okay, cool. So I feel like the people who set New Year's resolutions are the people who really want to, but just like they won't. They won't action it. And they're just like, fuck yeah, New Year, I'm going to run 10Ks a month and do this and do that and whatever. And then it's like, but we actually... I do agree with that. Yeah. I think if you're starting it on Jan 1st, you're not going to keep it. Yeah. I think there's a difference between New Year's resolutions and having goals for the year or having goals for the month. Yeah. And I, the reason I thought about this is because when we were sitting down doing our goals and stuff... I remember being that person, yeah. you know, three, four, five years ago being like, Jan first, like, this is what I'm starting. This is what I'm going to read 10 pages a day. I'm going to do this and do that. Whereas now I'm like, no, I won't. Yeah. Like, I actually won't do that. And that is okay. Yeah. And I've set my goals for the year, but I've also set monthly goals and I've set six month goals. And, you know, like I've got the year planned out and you guys know how big I am on not setting. I'm not like a long, like I yeah. am a long-term goal that I have my vision but I'm like, I'm going to change. Like you said, like you're not the same person as you were last episode. Yeah. That's been a month and a half. Like I know damn well how much we can change in, in a month, mm. in a week, that I don't feel like setting those goals. There's a time and a place, but I think that if you can set those goals along your growth, it's yeah. going to be more tangible. That is very true. Because if I look at my clients as a whole, if I'm like, okay, cool, you're starting with me on Monday. We're going to do five training sessions a week. We're going to walk 10Ks a day. I'm implementing cardio and you have to track. They're going to last two weeks, yeah, literally. And then they're going to go back to all the old habits. It has to be in it for the long run and slowly transforming lifestyle habits to actually be able to make it sustainable over the long run. And I think that's also why January, it's definitely felt pivotal in a way of like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like, oh my God, new year. It Mm. just feels like another month because we're not like, we have so many goals to achieve right here, right now. It feels fresh, like a new year, but it's not like, it's January 1, I need to set all these new goals and do all these new things. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm okay. Yeah. You explained it well. Okay, thank you. So speaking of, let's go into our goals. Yep. Okay, I'm going to start off. Yep. 
oh, I have done goals. I was like, I don't have any goals. I have. We literally sat down for like an hour Yeah, so let me talk about that. We sat (laughs) down with Taylor and Riley and Lily and I, and we sat down and Taylor kind of led this goal session and we did like career, personal, um, financial. Mm -hmm. uh, Development. Development. Wrote all these goals down. And Jackson is such a big person on like having like three goals. Yeah. Like having three goals that you know you're going to achieve and that you can put your all into. And then when we sat down, we did like what? How many? We did so many. We did so many. We did business and career, personal development, travel and experiences, relationships, family, friends, intimate, health, wellness, fitness, financial and investments. Then under that, we also did achievable and big Big dreams. So, and then under those, there's like, for me, there's like five underachievable and then there's like like all these different dot points and stuff. And I'm like, looking at that, I'm like overwhelming. Yeah. I'm like, that is, that's too much. I haven't even I'm stressed. It. Yeah. I'm the same. So, but I love doing that because it breaks it down for you. Yeah. However, like on my vision board, which I also did a YouTube video about, I made my vision board so simple this year. Whereas last year it was chaotic. There was shit everywhere. This year I'm like, I've got my goals and that is, they're my goals. And if they change, I allow them to change mm-hmm. and I go with that process. I never... Restrict. I never restrict or feel like I failed if I'm changing a goal mm-hmm. because I'm changing as a person. So I have my yearly goals. Yeah. Do you want to do yours first? Yeah. I actually, this is so just, I don't have specific goals right this second. And I definitely, when, when I take a step back, I absolutely do. But like Kylie mm. Ross actually spoke about it on her YouTube the other day. Mm. If you guys don't know, we're both obsessed with Kylie Ross. We are. And she was like, oh, I'm just like working on what I'm working on right now. Yeah. And I don't have any like, major goals and dreams for the future like right now I'm working on what I'm working on and I also think that is okay like my business is actually growing I have the most amount of clients I've ever had but I'm also like it's so easy for me because I'm not like oh my god I have to build clientele I have to go 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 like Mm. I feel like what I'm doing right now is just like really working for me and it's also I have in prep so like that takes out hours out of your day in itself but I think my biggest goal right now is I have a few competing in um, April and like just being overall very successful with it. I also going to go overseas. I'm going with my family, but I also just like want to do individual things. Is that after prep? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I was like, like wait, June, July. Yeah. Okay. But my overall biggest goal this year was to actually utilize my freedom. Mm. And I do remember that. It's just like all kind of starts to tick back. I know that because I'm a very like regimented person in the way that I don't like getting outside of like my space very much. Hence why I don't love to travel. But last year proved to me that I actually can do both. And this year, I really want to utilize my freedom with my work and my training. And I actually can still stay on routine while traveling. So I've already been to the sunny coast like four, three, four times um, in January. And because I still can stay in routine the whole time and just Mm. really utilizing that while I can, because who knows when I have kids, I can't do that. Maybe I have this whole business in a few years times that I have employees under me and I can't do that as easily. So I just want to utilize my freedom this year. And that's Mm. actually my, my big overarching goal and also... Like fi- I have so many financial ones and little ones under the way that like I'm not really going to share right now. But yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like I like that. Mm. It feels good. And I think like last year you had these business goals that didn't end up happening because the year just, you Yeed. know, reversed. The year <laughs> yeah. Um, But I think this year like you're building without trying to build. And it's easy and it's coming to me so much more yeah. naturally. So yeah. it's just like letting that happen and then focusing on like, utilizing your freedom yep. while you can yep. and letting business do it business yeah, 100%. without like putting the pressure on it yeah no I yep. completely agree there was something else I was going to say there but it left my brain so you're up okay um my like main ones would be to launch my new biz yep this um it's a two-part launch it's going to be like like I literally am building that this year like that's the goal is to build that um I literally had a moment yesterday where I went to because I had initially had the launch date for today Mm. and I sat down yesterday to finalize my like words for my post and stuff like that and I just like fully went blank and I had a moment of like do I even want to do this is my is this my passion is this my purpose um fully like fear around failing not failing but like it just flopping, mm. which I like, I'm not that person. Like I don't yeah. like, I'm like, you give everything a go and see what happens. And so I messaged my kinesiologist about it. Cause I was like, what, what's going on? Like, why am I feeling like this? Mm. 
And just Corey being Corey, she just like put everything into perspective straight away. Um, and then just kind of was like, um, what did she say? She was like, what happens if you launch and what happens if you don't? And I was like, if I launch, opportunities start coming my way and open up new door. And if I don't, it just doesn't begin yet. So mm-hmm. she's like, is either of them bad? And I was like, no. Mm. Um, and then... My dogs really can't just be... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I need to rotate. And then she, we've got these list of questions. Like when something like this comes up, there's a list of questions. I'm going to read them out because they might be useful to you. What must I believe about myself, others or the world to be having this thought? Is it true? What factual evidence do I have? What is the cost of thinking or believing this? Is it a cost I'm willing to pay? What would I rather have, do or be? And how will I adjust my behavior to reflect this? Oh, I like that. So when you're like, when this is coming up, she'll, she'll just like send, copy and paste, mm. send it back down. Um, and then she said, she was like, any tightness in the body? And I was like, just in my chest because I'm like nervous, like yeah. scared. Um, and she's like, fear is in your kidneys in like a spiritual way she's like you've also been feeling burnout this week so listen to yourself no one's holding you to the expectations except for yourself yeah um either option you're gonna be amazing she's like you know this is your path you don't need to rush it but also who's not to say you're ready because how ready can you really get you can have all the plans in place and I bet two months down the track they will shift as things flow there's no right or wrong yeah and then sends me this little smiley face and I was like the face of Corey when she knows she's right um and she was like, is the fear serving you? And I was like, no, it's literally just holding me back. Yeah. And then I messaged a friend who launched a business recently and she was, I was saying like, did you feel fear? Because obviously you don't really see, when someone's launching a business, you don't see that they're scared. Like yeah. you wouldn't see that side. And she was like, fucking oath I was. Like I was, I had to accept the fact that if it didn't work, I could go and get some, like a cafe job if yeah. I needed to for income. Yeah. And I was like, I'm currently living without have launched this business so worst comes to worst I still continue live live. yeah (laughs) so it's like I don't and I just continue or I do and something good happens yeah so I'm just like trying to like move through all of that because this business like you know I've got my Tory story as a business I've had tea talent like I've started a business before but this is a business that I'm like this is a business that's gonna boom like I want it to become a company I want it to travel I want it to do big things so I'm like I know that like I'm doing it and I'm doing it. And that's why you are feeling all these feels because if you're not nervous before you do something that you're so passionate yeah. about, then I just truly believe you're not that in it. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Like you get nervous before you compete in a sport because yeah. you put so much time and energy into it. Of course, you're going to be nervous because you yeah. want to exceed your expectations. Exact same with a business. You put so much work into it. You're so passionate. You want it to succeed. You get nervous. And mm. it's also just embracing that and actually letting it be okay. Yeah but not letting it hold you back. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then I was turning that nerves into like, is this what I want to do when I've spoken about it for since I was a little girl? Yeah. Like I knew when I started going through my career, I was like, I'm going to be this. Yeah. So it's just like putting all of that aside. And like the, the quote that I love, feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah. So move through that. Yeah. Um, we have 52 YouTube videos. Yeah. So one video a week currently on a roll. Don't ask questions about mine. Just ex- <laughs> when you see them, watch them. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Just watch them and move on. Um, yeah, going strong. We're on vlog number four. So proud of you. I know. Thank you so much. I am one vlog behind, but I know I'll get that yeah. up. I've got 50 weeks to, yeah. to do that. So we're good. Um, and then we all know clear skin, which is going to happen. You did not prepare me with these goals. You've like written a list. Oh, I just have my goals. I've had them in my phone. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> And then travel goals, I want to go to the USA and I want to go to Bali. And Sydney with me for no reason. Oh, yeah. Just because. Girls trip. Yeah. But I mean like overseas. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, And yeah, and then I just have my little goals, which I spoke about on YouTube. Yeah. So go watch that. Chat. Nice. But yeah, feeling good. Yeah. Honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm the same. I just feel like this year, I already feel like things are easy. And that's yeah, why I'm just like, it's oh, flowing. everything's flowing, things are easy. And I just feel like I'm so passionate about everything that I'm doing that it's coming easy. Yeah. Like, I'm not like, oh my God, I have to do this. It's like, oh, I get to and I want to. Yeah. And I think that's why when someone asks me, what's your big goal? I'm like, uh, I don't really like have a specific one because I'm like, I just love what I'm doing right now and building, building, building mm. and just like opening new doors. Like things keep coming up in so many different directions. And I'm like, wow, I just don't know what's going to come next yeah i don't know i just love the point that i'm in right now yeah yeah i love that for yeah, you thanks so much okay 
Something fun. Yeah. We are inter- inter- introducing yep. whoa, a new segment called Shower Thoughts of the Week. Yes. <laughs> Insert sound effect. Yeah. Um, pretty much a segment that changes from week to week. Anything that we think of or things that are like funny or controversial or yep. like trends that we see. So, of course, we're starting our first one off with ins and outs for 2024. Yeah, that's just like a given. Like, obviously. A must. We have to do that. Yep. Ins, Lily, go. Ins, Snapchat. Yes. We're both on our Snapchat grind at the moment. It's so easy, very unfiltered. So, yep. go at us both on Snapchat. We, our link is through our bios on Instagram. So fun. Yep. Behind the scenes of our life. It's literally like, and you, you feel no pressure you're no. just like i could look so ugly and not give a shit yes i agree and yeah. just like it doesn't have to be aesthetic chuck it up because it's like instagram is well for me like my instagram's like raw unfiltered but it's still aesthetic. created yep. yeah yeah whereas snapchat pff. couldn't get less yeah and i love it yep and then boundaries yeah they're in for me mm-hmm. they're staying in sometimes <laughs> they sometimes they get a little bit blurred <laughs> but we try we're best. working on it <laughs> yep sponsor Oh, I, had I a can never fight say this word. With Sebastian the other week on the walk. I think it's spontaneity. <laughs> spontaneity. Mm, spontaneity. 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 Spontaneously. She's going to be spontaneous. <laughs> there okay? you go. All right. <laughs> because why not? Yep. And it's not, I'm not booking a one way flight to London tomorrow. We're not talking with that type of spontaneous activities. I'm talking like. I don't have to be in bed at 9 p.m. Okay, yes, that's going to help me. Right, I get it. But the other night, I went skateboarding at 9 p.m. at night. Do you know how fun that is? Yeah. And I just felt like my inner child was coming out. Like, Mm. that is so surface level. But, like, little things like that, you know? Yeah. Fun. Live music. Mm. In. I've already been, like, I'm in my live music era. I went to Ziggy last year. Noah Khan, Tate McRae, Taylor Swift is coming up. Wild Lands. Oh, so many things. So many things. Yeah. Okay supplements are in if we know me she's not a supplement girl we're not we're not really in our health like era we never have been <laughs> maybe we will be one maybe day maybe we will be one day um but i am taking supplements to help my health right now i take l-carnitine which is not exactly that's my that's more like um, that's to burn prep, fat prep so like vibes. that's prep that's prep but i'm taking like l-glutamine glutamine glutamine however yeah. you want to say it um as well which is helping with your gut recovery i'm taking these like um other supplements as well like that is good for me i normally have caffeine and coffee in the morning that's the same thing but i normally have that yeah. so like you know we're on our way up yeah. just like really trying to help ourselves improving yeah yep. all right ends for me would be listening to my body yep because we're bringing back the state of balance in our body yep soft hustle yeah, it's like we're hustling, but we're also like looking after our body, looking after hormones. Yep. We are also spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> we're also spontaneous, yep. but like I'm always spontaneous, so we're just yep. keeping that in. Snapchat also. Yep. YouTube. In. YouTube is in. Yep. Um, and unlimited. No, yeah, unlimited abundance. I love that. Yes. Do you know what's really interesting? All of my star signs this year, like everything I'm reading for like my 2024 overall is aligning to financial abundance for this year. I know. So I'm like, what am I launching that's popping off? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? What have I done? I love that. Yeah. Out. What are we kicking? <sighs> TikTok is out. Can't agree. I deleted it at the start of the year. Yeah. I did get it back the other night just for 30 minutes because I was like, what the fuck is leggings, leggings? And everyone was going on about it. Huh? Le- leg leggings. What is it? Yeah, see, you're on TikTok and you don't even know. But I saw everyone post about it on Instagram saying you don't have to follow this trend. Mate, you commented on Erin Louise's Instagram the other day about it. She did a full post about it and you commented on it. Oh. <laughs> I was probably just commenting about her. Okay, well, anyways. I'll have to go look. I don't scroll TikTok, but I post on TikTok. Yeah, okay. Well, I only downloaded it back for that, but it's out. I don't post much at all. And if I do, I get stressed because I'm like, I need to get post content. I don't have any TikTok content. It's not for me. Don't love it. All I get caught doing is scrolling at night, especially because what I have noticed is that when you are alone, you're on your phone a lot more at night. So I've just like deleted it and Mm. I got it back the other night, like I said, for 30 minutes. Instant anxiety went up and I was like, I'm over it. Delete it. It's out. So like she's gone. Fair enough. She's out. Yep. Don't need her in my life. (laughs) Um, Next one out is people pleasing. Again, very similar to boundaries. We are trying our little heart out with that one. Yep. Another out is biting my nails. She's gone. She's trying, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying. So like I 
I'm good at like not biting my nails, but I pick the skin around my yeah. thumbs. But I have no nails on right now. Yeah. And they're doing well. They are. So that's out. Yeah. That's all? Yeah, that's all. My outs are self-doubt. See ya. Toxic people, products, and environments. Yes. So we're really getting rid of the toxic products. I've so far got rid of toxic makeup, skincare, washing detergent. Next is cleaning products. Yeah. Yep. Just going to use up the ones we have yeah. and then we'll clear it out. Mm-hmm. Out, acne, gone. So yeah. She's actually already gone. Um, avoidance mm. of feelings or conversations, whatever. So when Jackson asks, are you okay? Your response is not, I'm fine. It's, let's talk about this. Yes. Correct. It yep. is. On the first time, not the 10th. Yeah. Um, random spending. Money. got to yep. go. Yeah. Money. It's got to stop. And time wasting. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm here for time wasting. Yeah. I feel like I'm really good with random spending. I feel like I don't yeah, you're spend much. I've been good lately. Mm, which yeah. obviously I think also goes to show with my fashion because it's like, babe, where's your outfit options? <gasps> I have another in. What? That's happening at the end of the year. Oh. Me and Jackson are getting a dog. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying it here right now so you guys can hold him accountable to know yeah. that he said that to me because it's going to happen. He's also you said it to me. Yes. And the reason he finally admitted when we can get one is because I was begging for one. Mm. And then we had a serious chat, not just like, oh, yeah, we'll get one like soon, whatever. It was like, no, Bob, we'll get one at the end of the year. Yeah, like serious. And then Jackson. we spoke about like why we will get one at the end of the year and why it makes sense. I agreed to it, felt good until I found a little puppy. <laughs> it's in Brisbane and it's ready this week. And I literally want to cry. And they keep messaging me. They're like, Do you want to come visit? And I'm like, No, because if I visit, but the I will fact bring that it you home. message them. Well, I just wanted to see price. I actually wanted to check out price. Right, okay. Because uh, just after COVID, they were going for like seven. Yeah, okay. So now 100K? they're like, okay. Thousand. That, seven thousand or yeah, so money. I know. Now they're like three, three, two. So I'm, I'm good with that. that so. Have we decided <clears throat> between a staffy and a cavoodle? Because Jackson wants a staffy, Tori wants a cavoodle. So this is going to cause some drama. We're getting a cavoodle. So that's really interesting you say that because Jackson <laughs> says you're getting a staffy. <laughs> well, I'm just like, cavoodle makes sense. Cavoodle's a little bit easier. they less scary for people. So let's think about me. <laughs> no, I would this rather is not your dog. Place my thoughts of Axel with another dog. Yeah, Cavoodle. <laughs> you need a new dog. You need to wipe it out. Okay. <laughs> we need a teddy. And the reason I've been like craving one is because I've been so up and down lately. And I'm mm. like, what would make me so happy right now is to have a little dog that doesn't speak to me, but shows so much love. And I just think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll raise my hand. I would love some physical attention. <laughs> no, I don't want people i don't want a human body i want a fluffy dog i just always try and touch toys yes and i don't like it just like a little tootsie touch yes and it's (laughs) i'm not an affectionate person i never have been it's like what do you expect me to do just sit next to me on the couch and then just go to bed and lay there yes (laughs) go (laughs) you sebastian no but i can't you're just friends exactly (sighs) well fuck find a fuck buddy (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, uh, but anyway, anyways. we're getting a dog at the end of the year and I'm, yeah. it's getting really hot. It's hot in here now. The aircon's coming next week. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that's an update for them. We're actually in a new studio. We are. We are. We're in a new studio. Yeah. We are at The Nest in Burley. Yeah. And we love it. We love her so much. We lo- well, It's a kind of a him. Yeah, we do love him so much. him, Dean, yeah. owns the studio. Yeah. Yeah. So we love him. Yeah. It's sick. Honestly, photography studio space, podcast space. So happy to be here. I'd also like to say something that's quite dangerous. We're in this room alone. Yeah. So our producer doesn't sit in the room, which is like good. Yeah. But, but last last time she did. Yeah. So like at our other studio, she sat in the room and listened to every single one of our conversations, which was fine. We felt comfortable. Yeah. But now it's literally just us two. Yeah. So we could talk for hours. And anything. So sometimes I have to remember. But then also think that they're going to they're gonna be listening because they got to edit it. But we don't ever edit it. No, but like they'll no, still they're not somewhat editing listen. It. <laughs> but they'll still somewhat listen. You reckon? Well, to put all the clips together and stuff, they'll still hear us talking about our periods and our oh, sex life. And true. <laughs> Slay. Anyway, so that's your update. We have one more segment that we are introducing. Yes, and this is going to come at the end of every episode. Yes, and it is called Audience Advice. I'm not here for the name. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's better than listener question. Everyone does yeah, listener question. I know. 
Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. But basically, what it is, we're not doing it today because we don't have one. But at the end of every episode, we will remind you that DMs and emails, I think we're sticking to emails. Yeah, or DMs. But then it gets chaotic. Yeah, but Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another update. Yeah. Okay, so just first of all, for these questions of advice, yep. whatever you want to call it. You guys send in your questions, your advice, anything that you have for us. That can be anything. It can be boys. It can be fitness, nutrition, mental health, skin, acne. Housemates, housemates career mates, change. Honestly, whatever. Moving states. Anything. Yeah. Send in your questions, your advice, and we'll answer one or two every week. Yeah. Because we just want to connect with you. We yeah. want to help you out. Yeah. With send our some unsolicited. Rogue ones as well. Yeah, like, I'm ready. Rogue, yeah. Unsolicited opinions, advice. All the things. All the things. Yeah. Last update for you guys. Yes. We, we hired a little legend. We did. Her name is Frankie and she is our intern for a while and she is incredible. Already love her. Yeah. Um, keen to actually like probably start with her next week. Obviously it's our first episode so we're like kind of waiting for a bit. Um, but I'm so keen. You guys heard the end of last year that we were hiring. We did go through that whole process and we found one that just matches our energy. Yeah. And like a desire for exactly how we want to embody this podcast and the future and everything. So, yeah. so keen excited. for that. To just like push this as well. Yeah. Um. So that is our life update. Oh, we're wow. back. We're back and we're better than ever. And yeah. you guys are up to date now. You're yeah. up to date with everything that's happening. This was recorded on the Friday and you were going to be listening to this two days later on the Monday. Yeah. So you're like quite up to date. Yeah. But what we have found out is like our life changes in the space of two days. So I'm going to say what's happening next week is probably going to be completely different again. Yep. But yep. I can't wait to update you. Yeah, I can't wait to update you. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you could please jump onto this, whatever platform you're listening to, leave us a review, share it with your besties and... Tag us on Instagram. We love seeing us. how you guys listen to our podcast yes, as well. the hot girl walks. Mm, it's phenomenal. It I is. do love it. Um, and we'll be back in your ears next week. See ya. Love you. Bye.